Classroom Timers, a simple classroom management tool. Objective, teachers will be able to implement the use of timers in their classroom in order to maximize student engagement. Timers are a great classroom management tool. They are helpful in creating daily structure in the classroom. Timers are also a good way to keep both students and teachers on task throughout the day. Timers prevent time from being wasted. Timers allow the teacher to maximize the potential of the schedule that they have. Timers allow teachers to define time segments for each activity. This helps students get on board by signaling there is a plan. If the teacher has a schedule written on the board or displayed on a screen, both the teacher and students can visibly see how much time is allotted for each activity throughout the day. Let's take a look at how timers help students. Students learn to budget their time. Students know when to expect a transition. Timers can be motivating. Timers can be motivating because students know the task has a tangible end. Timers break down work into reasonable chunks. Timers allow students to build up discipline over time. They will automatically complete assignments in the allotted time given without being prompted. Timers can help relieve stress. Timers can help students relieve anxiety and feel more in control. Seeing the timer may create a greater sense of security. Timers build more independent students. Timers help students self-manage when they know the time of each segment and see the time ticking away. They can see if they need to pick up the pace to finish the task and when it's time to move from one activity to the next. Here are a few ways to use timers in the classroom. Timing student transitions. Time students during transitions from one activity to another. Be sure to review what students are expected to do during the transition. For example, clean desk, pick up trash, be seated or quiet, then set the timer. Students will move faster if they know they are being timed. Timers can be used for whole class movement, like lining up as well. Two, time breakout sessions. If students need to get into groups or pairs, timers are a great way to manage the breakout activity. It will help keep the teacher on track with the lesson. The timer will keep students focused on the task. It also keeps the class moving along. And finally, the timer trains kids to listen to the alarm and it signals them to stop and get quiet. Three, use a timer during warm up. Start the timer at the beginning of the warm up or bell ringer. The teacher can begin taking attendance and handle other behind the scenes tasks while students are doing the warm up. Overall, using a timer during a warm up creates a smooth transition between activities. Number four, time parent conferences. Using timers during parent conferences helps keep everyone focused and prevents long-winded conversations. This is an especially useful tool if you have multiple conferences scheduled back to back. This way, you can stay on track and not waste anyone's time. 
Just be sure to let parents know that a timer will be used in order to prevent the conference from going longer than scheduled. Five, time tests and essays. Students can see how much time they have left when the time is posted on the board or screen. Six, time student presentations. Allot a specific time for presentations. This keeps your entire presentation schedule on track. Seven, time group work. This helps keep students on track and focus on getting the task done as a group. A timer gives students a clear stopping point. Here are a few ways timers help teachers. Timers keep the teacher from talking too much. Students have a short attention span. Therefore, being clear and concise is critical. Using a timer will keep the teacher from going off on a tangent. It also helps the teacher to stay on topic and stick to the schedule. Finally, it ensures that the teacher knows the overall plan for the day. Types of timers. You can use any kind of timer. You can definitely go old school and use physical timers like an hourglass, stopwatch, egg timer, or a wall clock. I personally like timers that make noise when they run out of time. If you do a simple Google search for online digital timers, a variety of options will pop up. The one I use most often in my classroom was onlinestopwatch.com. They have a variety of digital timer options that can be set and projected onto a screen. Many of them make noise. So if you turn the volume up on your computer or hook them up to speakers, everyone in the class will know when the time is up. Additionally, you can find digital timer apps. Finally, you can embed a timer in your PowerPoint or Google slide presentations. We have reached the end of the lesson. Write down a few ways you can incorporate the use of a timer into your daily routine. Use your classroom management plan to guide you through the activity. Write your response in the workbook. 